Hi guys, it's your boy DK and I'm back again with another video and like I promised I'm gonna be doing an unboxing on the HP 840 Elite book that I just got delivered yesterday So I'm not gonna go much into details about how it works and performance setting it up all together This is just an unboxing uh, to show you the look and feel the design and the portability and also I'm gonna take some time and then sh uh, tell you about the hardware specification with regards to uh, the storage it has inside, the memory, uh, the processor, as well as the graphics and you know the display, the webcams, the keyboard type, and the uh, the connectors uh, with regards to the ports like your USB ports, HDMI display port, docking port, and all those kind of things. So, stay tuned as I take you through the unboxing of this uh, little gadget. Yeah, so yeah guys, without any waste of time, so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this uh, notebook which is sitting right over here. So I've already opened the box and the reason why the box is opened is because whenever we get a delivery, uh, we have to open it and then verify the content, the serial numbers and stuff, you know, log story, yeah, we, that, that's just our process. So we have to unbox, to, to open it and just verify the content of each and every box that's been delivered. So I've verified this one already and everything that we ordered is exactly what's in the box. So starting from this side, this is a power plug and then this plug goes into um, this one. So it's, it's a charger kind of a thing. So just to tell you something about this charger. So the pin, if you can see the pin, it's actually smaller and different from the if you know the hp pro books so their charger it's a bit thicker i'm talking about the the pin that goes into the laptop itself it's a bit bigger than this so be careful if you think you're gonna share the chargers or you're gonna show the power plugs they're not gonna work on this machine so yeah so let's go to the main compartment um so this is the laptop and in the box is just um, the manuals and the how to's and all those kind of things which I'm not going to go through. So let's go into this thing that we're interested in. There we go. I'm just going to open it up. Um, yeah, so this is it. This is it. So it's silver in color, black at the bottom. HP and of course it's, it's running Windows so yeah um, it's quite very light so I don't know which one to start with let me tell you a little bit about um, uh, the hardware specification so as to what's inside the machine so I'm gonna start with the with the storage which uh, the, the hard drive capacity is 500 gigabytes this thing is not running a solid state so you know if it's if it was a solid state oh, that's if you know about uh the story so if it was a, if it was a solid state it was going to be um 512 ssd but this is exactly 500 gigabytes so it's a normal hard drive which i believe it has uh 7200 rpms and then uh, what else yeah that's it and then the memory this one comes with a uh four gig memory but but we still have a slot that we still have to insert the memory so I, it's not yet inserted we have an additional storage the slot that we're gonna put an additional memory module so that it becomes uh, eight gig so this is this is for productivity it's not for gaming or editing or anything that's you know requires like huge memory but this is just for productivity so if you're gonna be working with your minor applications and your word your outlook your excel powerpoint uh yeah just the, the basic productivity uh, application that you can you can you can think of so this this machine is good for that and then it has core i5 uh i think 7200 use which is quite a good processor because i mean somebody yesterday asked me why did you get in core i5 instead of core i7 this, so this one there's a different so this one is actually faster than the previous generation of the core i7 because this is the seventh generation of the core i5 which is pretty much faster than the core i7 which is i believe the previous core i7 was the fifth if not sixth generation yeah but this one it has um 
it's, it has a seventh generation of Core i5 with uh, 7200 use and then it has uh, 4 gig dedicated uh, graphics which um, well because it's for productivity there's really nothing much we actually require about the uh, the graphics and then uh, what else yeah 4 gig dedicated graphics HD uh, I think it's an Intel yeah and then what else is there yeah that's pretty much about the, the storage and the memory the processor and then it's running Windows 10 professional and then there's no application loaded on it as yet so anyway I'm not gonna open it and, and show you what what's inside there so let's go I was just gonna show you guys how it looks around so I'm hoping the camera won't fail me but if you can see right over here maybe let me strand. so these are the ports uh, the first port here this is what we call it a, a USB-C USB-C port and then this port some of the mobile device that we have nowadays they, they, they have this port that they use to charge and share data uh, the second port over here this is a display port and then the display port is the one that you, you can connect to your monitor or your TV or yeah, whichever external monitor you want to use it can be a TV or just a normal monitor or another screen and then this is your your, your your audio ports where you can put your earphones or your aux cable your speakers whichever one you have uh you the, your normal usb 3 this is a 3.0 usb port and then this is your this is the ethernet port where you plug in your network cable and then this is the dock port so if you know how the previous model looked like especially on the pro book at the bottom here at this part of the laptop there used to be a port that's where you can dock into your docking station. So this one you use an ultra slim docking station. I have one on the side. Probably maybe I'll show you. So you just dock it on the side. You put it on the docking station, and then you push the laptop in, and then it docks. And then this port on top here, little slot, is for the SIM card. So this one has a built-in um, 3G module where you can put in a SIM card for for 3G connectivity. And then the next port over here it's for power. So the charger goes in, and then yeah. You can charge it from there there's nothing else at the back there's just two um, hinges and then same thing on the front there's nothing no way to put anything and then on this side there's this port which honestly speaking I don't know what goes in this long slot and then next to it there is a your normal USB port which is 2.0 and then on this side it's a your VJ port this is the fan for the processor this is where you lock your laptop against either the table or the port whichever one is next to you there's just something which I'm not seeing here uh, oh okay it's right over here so I wanted to tell you about the SD slot so the SD slot it's pretty much like it's at the bottom so if the laptop is sitting like this so this is where the uh, the SD slot uh, is and then you can put in your memory card in there and then yeah that's pretty much about it so those ports and everything and there's light indicator here on the front the first one it's for the first one is from the left it's for the hard drive and the second one is for the power if if the if the charger has been connected or the drinking station this light second light will, will will come on and then the third last light is for the power if the laptop is on and then the last one is for the wi-fi if the wi-fi is on then you'll be able to see so if it's on it will be white like the other one if it's off it will be orange to show that the wi-fi is off then you won't be able to connect to anything so yeah that's pretty much guys about this laptop so just uh something else on the on the on the on the specification so how it looks on the screen the display screen from this corner here to this corner here it's a 14 inch display so which means it's a little bit um i think it's 1.6 inch less than the uh the pro book 650 so yeah but this is good for productivity especially for those who's going to be using it with the docking station so it's not much of a hassle if you need a bigger display you can actually dock it and then display it with another 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 computer or another display monitor and then what else uh, the power button is just over here this is the power button over here and then on this side there's a wi-fi button 
and then there's a speaker so the wi-fi button is just to switch on wi-fi or switch it on and off and the second one just to mute uh, the sound so if you want to mute the sound you just press on this button and then you mute the sound right over here this is the speaker that i was talking about for core i5 seventh generation or uh, oh let's see let's see let's see if we can get it here yeah okay yeah that's it and then right next to it here is this is the fingerprint reader the touchpad over here it is so in case this uh this keypad here are not working you can use this ones here and then you can actually tap on this there's a small dot here which you can tap on it to switch to activate or deactivate the touchpad so yeah and then there's the batch name elite book this one is the 840 and then something else about the keyboard if you can see the, this keyboard actually it's smaller it ends here and that's because this is a light version of a, of a notebook it doesn't have uh, uh, what we call what a DVD or a CD ROM where you can put um, your, your disk inside so there's no optical drive on this laptop so that's why it's actually this small and light so yeah so this keyboard here it doesn't have what you call the keypad or the num lock uh, kind of a thing so if you work with finance this won't really work well for you but you know you can juggle it around you can always use an external uh, keyboard if you want to work with your calculations and stuff but however if you just want to do normal typing productivity you can work with this or if you're going to be doing it from the excel this will work better for you so yeah this is pretty much it about this laptop and i'm not sure if i'm leaving anything the keyboard is as it is and then it has a speaker switch are powered by the bang and olusev which is powerful speakers on this so i'm not gonna switch it on i'm yeah i'm just gonna end it here guys so this laptop it actually weighs about uh 1.5 kilograms which i'm not sure how much is that in pounds but it's not so heavy so which means yeah you know you can you can put it on your on your on your on your sleeve back and carry it so it's almost the same weight as the um macbook pro 15 inch so they almost weigh the same the same the same size so yeah that's pretty much about this guys so thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for my next video which i'll be covering the uh, the QNAP uh, NAS storage, like I said in the other video, that NAS stands for Network Attached Storage. But on my side, this NAS it's also working as a uh, what we call um, a media player. So mine is gonna be connected to the to the TV, my mobile device, my cell phone, my iPhone, and then you'll also be gonna be connected to my laptop and my other desktop that I have at home so that we can share information there and then all the videos there will be uh it will be easy for me to save and access the videos that i actually upload on youtube so thank you so much guys for watching please please share this video subscribe like and comment if there's anything that you want me to cover i will definitely cover it for you like i promised guys this coming saturday i'll be covering the bmw m2 the one that has the uh, long beach blue color i'll be covering it so i'm sure by the end of the day i should be uploading that video on saturday and then i think before the end of this week i should sh upload the qnip um uh nest video so that you, you guys can see it and then what else uh the other video i've uploaded earlier today and what else what is uh, there's a lot of coming guys there's a lot of things and i'll be coming soon with the part two of my uh desktop setup tour which I've already done the part one and part two is coming and then I believe I should do part two, part three, part four and part five. So I'm planning to end all this thing by end of September. So I still have time in between cause I haven't decided and I'm still looking for the things cause I don't want to buy things which later on I don't want. So I'm still going through the planning stage and seeing what I can get and whatnot. So thank you so much guys and stay tuned to this channel cause I'll be doing a giveaway. So next week, Tuesday, 15 August, it's my birthday. So definitely I'll be getting something out and I'll be giving something out. So whether I get or not, definitely I'll be giving something away uh, for my birthday. So what you have to do, I'll name the price on the 15th of August, what's the price and what you have to do is just comment your name on that video and then the present might be coming your way might be coming your way so thank you so much guys and i'll see you guys on the next one cheers